Hello, today I'm here to share with you our range of Dolce gift boxes. So there are three dies in the set. One is our umbrella box. The second one is our Vidicio box. And the third is the Dolce base. The base works with both the boxes. So if you buy either or both of these boxes, you will need the base set. So to start with, I'm going to show you how to make the Vidicio box. So let me just open the dies out for you so you can see what we've got. So these Vidicios can be made in either a four-sided box, six-sided box or an eight-sided box. Obviously the more sides you've got, the bigger the box you've got. So we pop them out the way. So this is the four-sided box. So nice for a little bottle of, um, you know, like the, the infused oils and things like that. They would fit well into there. The six-sided box holds the mini bottles of wine, anything along those lines, filled with sweets would be equally as nice. And then your six-sided box, ah, your eight-sided box, sorry, gives you a bigger base again. So that allows you to have a larger present. So for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm gonna make a six-sided box. So let me just show you. So I'm using the six-sided base die. No, I'm telling you lies. I'm making an eight-sided box. So I'm gonna show you the biggest of the boxes. So we have eight sides. So there's eight of the side panels and they were all cut with your one die and this is what makes your box. If you want to cut any patterns into the panels as I have done here then you need to do that before you start assembling. If you're going to add the patterns later then that's fine. So where do we start? So we're going to do the eight sided box. So first of all, do all your fold lines first and do that on all your panels. So you've got a mountain fold on the bottom. You have two valley folds along the sides and you have one mountain fold and that will become apparent when you put the box together. So that is the shape. You can see this, the shape of your box coming together there. So just repeat that on all your panels. The base is all mountain folds and the top is two valley folds on the sides and the one with the extra tab is your mountain fold. So that is all our sides together. So we're just going to glue them in one long strip. So I'm using Deluxe Adhesive and we just glue in the side panel. So pop that together. I'm butting up right up to the fold line, making sure my crease line is all in one line and my fold line is straight. So you need to be able to fold these afterwards. So just check that you haven't gone over on your fold line because you'll have a very rough edge. So work your way along, just along the bottom edge to start with. If you find that your, your tabs are not gluing very well, flip your, I'll show you now, flip all your, your die cuts over and make sure you press from the back to make sure this is a good idea to do this with a bone folder actually or a paper creaser because you you can sometimes get paper cuts from it so that gives a better adhesion so your next bit now you're going to glue these the tab with the hole fits over the other tab so we can do all this while it's flat 
makes life an awful lot easier. So I'll just pop them again up to the score line. Makes a really interesting shape on the top of the box. So there's my box. If you want to pop your ribbon, so you don't have any bow on the outside, I would suggest you do it at this point now. Um, and then you can hide the end of the ribbon inside the box. It's much easier when you've made the box to be gluing inside. So if you're gonna do that, do it at this point. But I'm gonna show you how to thread it afterwards as well. If you were gonna glue it now, start one tab in. So let me just show you. So we're gonna miss that tab and then go into the next one. The reason being when you come back this way, it tucks into the outside and then you glue behind. So that's how we get it seamlessly without any, any bows on the outside. But I want to show you how to thread it afterwards. That's why I'm leaving it at this point. So next bit now, we're going to start popping these onto our base. So we're gluing from the back this time. So a little bit of glue on the back. And then... We're going to pop that. If you look, I'm lining it right up to the edges of my octagon. And then we do the next one. And we just keep working around the base. So now we're going to put some glue on the tab. My last tab hasn't held, but I will add a little bit extra glue there. Slot that in and then press from inside the box. There we are. You could put a little clip if you want to, just to hold them, maybe a little peg. I'm just gonna hang fire a little bit. There we go. Once one bit is caught, the rest will then. There we are. So there's our box. Make sure we've lined up as well. You're going to take a little bit more time than I am making these, so you'll have a little bit more, more patience. So just glue the last two down. To cover the base then, because I don't like seeing all the, the workings of my boxes, I'm just going to pop another base die onto the base of the box. And if you haven't got any that have stuck properly, this will hold them in place. There we go. So that's all done. And I just need to glue this last tab in place. And that basically is the making of this box. Just hold that in place. There we go. So now there's one that I haven't quite. So we can pop a little bit of glue under there. I haven't quite glued those to the point. Make sure you do glue down to the points because they will pop out otherwise. There we are. So here's the little die that I was telling you about that is your ribbon threader. It does say on it that it is a ribbon threader. It will die cut for you. It has got a cutting edge, but you don't need to use it like that. So pop your ribbon through, and this is basically your needle. So my ribbon goes through. It's really fiddly because you're working inside the box, especially when you've got the smaller ones. It's hard to get your hand into the box. But this allows you to pull your ribbon through into the centre. And then you just keep working around the side of the box. And 
until you've got to the other end. There's your ribbon, so you can tie a nice bow. And then you're going to bring the top in. your bow all tied and we just need a little bit more ribbon there's your bow on the bottom with your little edges tied and then you can pop your ribbon through the top make sure your ribbon goes through these holes she so wanted to go Put your holes together and you want the ribbon to go through the centre. And it stays on the outside of your box. There we go. And this then will tie together. I can bring it back because I want them to... I want the bows to tie at the same point as the bottom, so I'm going to leave one open and just tie over the top of that one. I want it to go there. Draw them all in. I've got quite a stiff card here, so line them all up and make sure they're all doing what you want them to do and then tie the last one there we are and that will tie exactly in the same place as the bottom chop the ends off and there's our lovely little box so just as a recap here's the little ro uh, rolled flowers you've got the little leaves that are in there to decorate as well and that's your six-sided that's your four sided, whoops, and this is your eight sided box. So lots of variety. Happy crafting. Mm -hmm.